Hey everybody! Today I made a video about minimalism and the things I stopped buying when I started pursuing it. And before you're like, what? So you want to live in a tent and have one fork and only eat rice and not shave your armpits? No. Minimalism to me means only having things like stuff in my life that I find bring me joy and bring me happiness and eliminating the rest. So the first thing I stopped buying when I started pursuing minimalism was I stopped buying new clothes. And what I mean is like new clothes. Like I went to Nordstrom, I went to Anthropology, I went to Free People and I bought this at the store. I only buy clothes that are consignment or thrift store clothes. I do this because if I go to Nordstrom or Anthropology, I walk in and I want everything and it might not be something I think I'll actually wear a ton, it might not be practical, it's probably too expensive. <laughs> and so I decided that if I just buy, if I just have a closet with things that match each other and a minimal closet, then I know exactly what I need to buy. So for example, I needed a denim button up. I went to Plato's Closet and I found it for $8. And it's a brand that I could have bought at Nordstrom, but I would have spent, you know, like 45 And I would have also bought a million other things because that's just who I am. So the first thing I stopped buying was new clothes. Second thing that I stopped buying was books, like paper books. I only buy the ebooks now or I go to the library. I do this because when I buy a book, I just read it the one time. I know I don't have a book besides Harry Potter that I read over and over and over and over again. So I have been trying to slowly reduce my already existing collection and only buy ebooks now. I just think it's better because if I need to move, if I have my iPad, then all of my books just fit right in my backpack. I don't know, I just like having clean, no stuff as a style, so I don't like looking at a bunch of books. I do, I will say that I do like the feeling of reading books, like holding a book, buying a new book, like it's a good feeling. <laughs> um, but if I want to read a book, like in the book form, I will go to the library. Otherwise, I like audiobooks or ebooks, like online files of books, so that I just don't have boxes and boxes of. <sighs> How many times can I say books in one, you know, sentence? I'm like, whew, tired from saying books so many times. The point is, I no longer buy paper books, they take up space, and I don't like it. Another thing that I stopped buying was face wash because oh my god, it is a money suck, it is a time suck, it is a space in your drawer suck if you are like me at all. Because I, for ever since I went to college, I don't know, I would buy, I'd be like, I have a routine, here's my night routine. If I made a video on it, it'd be like 12 minutes long where it's like, Okay, first I take my Clarisonic and I cleanse, my, or first I remove my makeup with my four different makeup removers, and then I use my Clarisonic to take off all my makeup, and then I use my cleanser and my scrub, and then I use my toner when I get out, and then I use my my moisturizing cream. Unless it's nighttime, then I use my night cream, then I have my eye cream, and then I have my anti-aging cream, like literally this is what I would purchase every single month and it would take so much time so much space and it's like this is like a very small part of my body so just so I would spend like a hundred dollars a month on it sometimes more probably much rather go on a twelve hundred dollar vacation I would much rather put that money towards my debt I would much rather pay off my car I don't know there's a ton of things I would rather do than have face wash and so I stopped I now use Dr. Bronner's unscented baby mild soap on my face for a year and I use coconut oil as moisturizer and my skin looks exactly the same. It didn't improve, it didn't get worse. So another category that I stopped spending in is nail polish. I had a box full of nail polish, like so many colors, so many of those sparkles, but the sparkle ones and 
I honestly used the same five. And I've never once used an entire nail polish. Well, this year I did when I cut down a ton. But I've never, before I had never used an entire bottle of nail polish. They either, I either get tired of the color, they get discolored, um, or they get like gloopy and disgusting and they don't work. So I cut down to only colors that match my clothes. I have a really intentional color palette now with my clothes, so I re I don't waste nail polish. And it was just like a hard thing to look at too when I had realized I had spent, you know, like probably twelve hundred dollars on this box of nail polish because I only buy, you know, the nice ones like OPI and SE. So it's just a box full of you know, money basically that I don't use and I would much rather have a $1,200 experience or vacation or put it towards my student loans than have a $1,200 box of nail polish. So that is another thing I don't buy is nail polish. I always just, I have like four or five and then when one runs out, I'll buy another one. But until it's gone, I don't buy any more. No. Another thing I stopped buying was oh, cats. I stopped buying cats. One is enough, right? Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, I am right now in the defining stages of what I'm gonna be as a channel, but expect a lot of travel. I would say mostly travel, and I think Minimalism and budgeting and my financial bleh, my financial my financial ideologies <laughs> um, as a way to give me a big life where I get to travel and do all the things I want to do. So again, thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye.